Hi everyone, this is Adam from Recreation Services, and this week I want to talk about balance. Today I'll be going over the importance of balance uh, in fitness and in daily life, long-term health, talk about how balance works, and then how you might improve your balance through training. So the definition of balance is one's ability to maintain your center of gravity over your base of support, and that includes during movement. Balance is achieved through a coordination of multiple systems. So there's the vestibular system, which is kind of an apparatus within your ear that helps monitor your equilibrium. There's your visual system, so when you can see something and then you get feedback on how it moves and that affects your balance and your somatosensory system, which is proprioception. So your body just noticing movement and then sending signals up to your brain to then contract your muscles accordingly to maintain or, or make other movements. Balance is really important in all aspects of life. So whether it's fitness or sport or even just long-term health. Every time you're taking a step, whether it's walking or running, anytime you're on some sort of single leg stance, you're using your balance. So anytime you're in sports and you're running or changing direction, or if it's a contact sport and you're kind of taking on contact at the same time, you're trying to maintain your balance and maintain your center of gravity uh, over your basis support. Good balance also improves your reaction time and it also decreases risk of injury by decreasing your risk of falling. Especially as we get older, our bones are you know, less dense and a little more brittle and more susceptible to fractures and things like that when you fall. Maintaining good balance throughout your life prevents injury, especially later on when falling is more common. It's one of the reasons why as we get older, our steps get a little shorter and it turns into a little more of a shuffle than a longer gait. So maintaining good balance helps maintain your stride length and maintain your balance uh, through walking. And stride length has also actually been correlated to mortality. So due to your increased stride length, it means you're having better balance, less likely of falling and having major injuries and surgeries at an older age, but also independence. You're able to get around more, do more for yourself, help maintain your fitness. So maintaining your balance throughout your life will make things a lot easier later and help you live longer. So some of the other benefits, besides the ones I've already mentioned, like reaction time and long-term health in terms of risk of falling and risk of injury. It also helps improve joint stability because now you're more aware of kind of how your joints are moving and able to hold them in place a little better. And also body awareness, where your body is in space and being a little more aware of how you're moving and, and a little more control over that. So some exercises you can do will focus specifically on your balance. So something like a balance board. We have a few upstairs, ones like say a square that only tips in one direction. You can then progress to the circles of different sizes that are a ball underneath and a little more unstable in all directions. So you're working on all directions at the same time. You can also work on different aspects of single leg stance. For these ones, you would start next to a wall just in case you need something to kind of guide you. From there, you can work on throwing a ball into a wall on different directions while standing one-legged. That way you're taking on off-center forces as well and kind of progress from there. So you start simple and, go and build up from there. One way to also progress from any exercise is doing the exact same exercise, but with your eyes closed. Like I mentioned, balance uses your visual system. So taking away that system challenges your vestibular and somatosensory systems a little more because they don't have the visual aids to, to help. So those are some balance specific exercises, uh, but you can also include balance into other exercises. So like I mentioned, anytime you're doing a single leg stance of some sort, you're incorporating balance. So whether it's a weighted lunge, or you're doing an exercise like a cable exercise, but now you do it single leg, that would make it more difficult by challenging your balance. You can use stability balls and BOSUs, so they're, even if you're on both feet, they're more unstable beneath you, so that would challenge your balance that way. And if you're looking for something outside of the gym to work on your balance, you can think about walking in as straight of a line as possible. Also, classes that uh, you could take here, for example, yoga and tai chi, both really good for balance. Uh, use a lot of different single leg stances or narrow bases of support. Those are two classes you could take if you wanted to work on your balance as well, as well as the other benefits of those classes like mental health and mobility flexibility and things like that. So those would be two really good options if you want to do something outside of the gym that would still improve your balance. So in terms of implementing balance training into your workouts, balance training is something you can do every day. So it's not like a lot of your major muscle groups that you need to space out, you know, every couple days. You can do balance training every day. 
as part of a workout, whether it's implemented in a strength exercise or on its own at the end of a workout. If you are at higher risk of falling, it's recommended you do balance training at least three days a week just to get a little more work and start working on that balance. If it's more just something you want to maintain, you can maybe put it in once or twice a week just to, just to keep at it. Uh, but more frequency, definitely, if you're, if you're already at a higher risk of falling. So I hope that helps give you some ideas about how you can implement balance training into your workouts and some ideas for extra workouts like yoga or tai chi. Hopefully this will help maintain your balance and mortality and independence uh, all through life. And uh, good luck.